Yo, what's up you guys? So today we're talking street photography and I have a little bit of a photo walk from Charlotte that I wanted to show to you, but also I wanted to give you like a two fails and one success story inside that photo walk. So I've got a little bit of content for you. So check it out. Let's run the intro and let's get into it. Okay, so like I said, this is a little bit of a mashup video where we have a photo walk behind the scenes on one side and also like a three tip video on the other. And basically I wanna go through some behind the scenes clips that I got from Charlotte the other day on a photo walk, but also link them to three specific photos, two of which I completely failed with because of two things specifically, and then one that I got a success from because I didn't fail from the two previous things. Okay, so to do this, I have my clips cut up and I'm gonna watch it on my monitor as you watch it with me here in the commenter window. So basically we're gonna go through these and we're going to talk about the two failures and one success and basically what happened. Okay, so this first photo that is an absolute failure deals with a guy that's sitting on the park bench here on the left. You'll see him in just a second. So basically he's just sitting there, but this photo is an absolute failure because I literally had just enough time to hit the GoPro and then set a couple of settings and snap the photo because I thought he wasn't going to like sit there for very long, but he ended up doing it and he actually like kind of let me take the photo and had I known that that was going to happen, it would have been amazing to actually like take the 85 and get a really nice portrait but because it was so just contrasty with that deep white uh, wall and the car in the back and then also he's sitting in the shadow in front of a black car the contrast was awful in that aspect and then on top of that is the fact that I just missed focus so like I said before like you can absolutely fix the contrast and you can fix exposure but the first failure comes from the fact that it was back focused and that's not because of the camera necessarily it's not for the fact that I don't have eye autofocus or have some sort of like autofocus system that is like should be doing it for me it's more the fact that I tried to rush it and I missed that photo because of it and it broke my heart because that would have been an amazing street photo but let's look at number two Okay, so this next photo deals in the fact that I had no subject. So in this one, I have perfect lighting. I have really nice colors, a lot of contrast, which is super excellent for like just being able to get a good photo. And I actually have a subject, two subjects really walking through, but they're so far away that I missed that first one. And I tried to get the second one. And then I was like, you know what? Hold on. Let me get down to the ground and actually take this photo. And obviously, you're just getting a shot of my feet now, but uh, trying to get down to that park bench. So I actually ended up with three photos from this and all three were bad because of no subject, no solid subject. So it's not the fact that I missed focus or anything. I just didn't have a solid subject, which is really unfortunate because I basically nailed the background. So a lot of the time this also comes from just trying to get through and take photos really quickly. And instead of waiting and hanging around and watching the entire environment and wait for those people to like come into your scene, but it just didn't happen for me, which is pretty upsetting because that was a really good shot too, I think. So this next photo deals with the fact that I have found basically a Porsche uh, that's about to drive through this intersection and therefore I wanted to nail it. So um, this is actually interesting because I, I basically have the same contrast. I have deep shadows because of the buildings. It's in the middle of Charlotte. It's daylight. It's midday. So I have the same contrast issue, but I've seen the Porsche and I'm waiting for it to basically cross through that intersection. So basically what I'm doing is like waiting for the light to change, getting my settings ready. And I have that first car go through. I see the Tacoma in front and I'm waiting for that to go through. And then you'll see back button focus to hit the exposure, nail the photo. And then I just tried to get a couple more um, beyond that. But I did didn't like the second one because I just nailed the back tire, which would have been okay if it would have had a better background, but I just didn't like it with the flowers and all that pot stuff that was on the, on the back side of that photo. But beyond that, if the first one failed because of back button or because of back focusing and it didn't hit my subject, and then the second one failed because I didn't have a subject, this one was perfect in the fact that I nailed focus of my subject. I had a focus or I had a subject to focus on, and the only thing that I didn't really like was the fact of the background. So I made it a little too dark, maybe for some people's taste. But other than that, I still think it was a great photo. So I crushed the blacks a little bit because I didn't like the background. I didn't think it matched that photo necessarily, and but overall I. I really did like the photo because I thought it was excellent for being like a like a car photo and his hands hanging out the window so it's kind of like a chiller vibe maybe like a Sunday stroll kind of thing and the colors were pretty decent but I made it a black and white because I just thought it really looked really well looked really well with that pearlized white for that uh, Porsche so that's my success so now's the time if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get all of the new content 
first before anybody else. I make a little bit of everything. I've got digital photography, film photography, street photography, a little bit of TikTok help, and just overall goodness as far as news and things that are like coming out to us as far as photography goes. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get to see all of that when it comes out. And if you want to as well, you can also follow me on Twitter and TikTok. I'm there daily with all new content, so there's tons of new stuff. If there's not stuff here on YouTube to watch, you've seen it all, you can always hit up those two spots. I have plenty more where that comes from. And for now, I'm going to hit you with a typical and I will peace out and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.